Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. If you are subscribed to my channel, then you know these past few videos have been hair tutorials. And I love them and I will go back to them, but I am trying some new things on my hair, as you can see. And I'm going to be taking a break from doing my own hair and let somebody else do it. So for today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my current favorites, everything I have been loving and obsessing over. I just want to share it with you guys. That way you can love and obsess over them too. So I'm going to not rant on and ramble on and we're going to dive right into the video. Now starting with hair products, the first thing on my um, current favorites list is the Garnier Fruity Smoothing Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask. I have been using this non-stop in all my hair videos and this is a smaller tub than the one I normally purchase but I ended up throwing that one out because of course I finished it and when I went to go re-up specifically for this video this is all they had but size of the tub or not this thing is amazing I've actually come to love it as um, a leave-in treatment I know that you can use it as a mask and you can also leave it in I prefer to leave it in and actually if you use it on its own it is bomb I am obsessed 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 that thing is so good it smells good and um, yeah so the next thing is the Aussie 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 three minute miracle um, deep conditioner and it looks something like this I know it comes in different packaging but this is just the one that I picked up super inexpensive by the way I'm gonna leave everything linked down below I think I've gotten three uses out of it and it feels like I might have one more before I need to re-up and actually a co-worker mentioned this to me and I love it like honestly I put it on my hair I leave it in for a few minutes in the shower or whatever and then I just like rinse it out and you could probably leave it for longer or maybe even less but like the difference is unbelievable my hair is so much like softer and you can see like even in the mirror you can see that extra moisture which is bananas like with hair products you could normally feel the difference but to actually see it visually I was like mind blown so after I tried that of course I was like I need to try a little bit more of these Aussie products so my third item on my favorites is the Aussie Total Mir Miracle 7-in-1 conditioner and you get a lot of bank for your buck this is huge and I think I paid like five bucks but I really love this conditioner it just it's so it's so moisturizing like honestly like I can really feel the difference in my in my hair and I'm shocked like I I didn't think like I didn't even think of Ozzy when it came to like my natural hair but they are coming up I am so excited to use more products I, I'm honestly like surprised by Ozzy like seriously I did not think of them when it came to natural hair and now they're all I think about but those are the three things that I have for my hair. I will definitely keep you guys updated and I will let you know on anything else that I use and fall in love with. But those three things right there literally have my hair like so soft. Like the softest it's ever been, honestly. The next thing that I've been focusing on is my skin. Of course, I love a good makeup. I love a good full face. But let's be honest, like I don't wear makeup every day. So one thing that I love is the St. Ives Gentle Smoothing Oatmeal Scrub and Mask. And it looks something like this. And clearly by the bending here, you can tell that I use it a lot. My skin doesn't feel dry and I love that. Of course, it's important to keep your skin clear of like breakouts and like acne and stuff like that. But your skin doesn't look as good if it's dry as well and it was to the point where like before when I was using like the apricot it's much more harsh that you could kind of see the dry patches through my makeup and that's a no-go for me okay and the next thing is also for the face and it's just the Cetaphil Cetaphil daily facial moisturizer and it looks something like this and I picked this up because the previous moisturizer I was using 
no problems with it but it also was giving the dry patches literally whenever my skin gets dry I go into like recovery mode and I'm trying to find like the next best thing and I had seen a couple people who have eczema as well as me talking about this and I absolutely love it and it's perfect for summer that's coming up because there is SPF in it be careful with that because SPF in your eye really hurts <laughs> so just be careful when applying this around your eye I have learned through experience but um one pump is enough I started off using two pumps because I'm just so obsessed with like moisturized skin and stuff like that but this is a greasy formula so if you have oily and greasy skin I do not recommend it for you but for me someone that has drier skin it's perfect one pump is fine but my skin is definitely much softer much glowier and I'm perfectly happy with my appearance with and without makeup so that's great and the next few things on my favorites are makeup related. The first thing is this EOS Lip Balm. We have all seen it, we've all used it, we've all heard about it. And it just looks something like this. And I used to use this back in the day and I'm normally a Carmex kind of girl, but I just, I've changed everything. I felt like my lips weren't like as smooth and silky as before, so I picked up this guy and I love it. It smells so good. I think it actually, like this flavor smells like the Shea Moisture, um, but I love it. It's easy to apply. I don't feel like when I don't have chapstick on, I have like super dry lips. The, the moisture in it is long lasting and I'm just loving it right now. It's so crazy how you use something and you stop using it and you go back to it and you're like, why did I stop using that? Well, that's what I'm having with the EOS right now. And just like I mentioned before, I want to look just as good without makeup. So anything that's going to help that, I'm going to use it. So the next thing is mascara. And that's just the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. And it comes in this gold, I guess, container, whatever. I don't know what you call this. It's gold. Can't miss it can't miss it in the store <laughs> um I used this back in like 2014 and it accidentally fell in my sink and I don't know why I stopped using it um but I picked it up because I just wanted to try something different my lashes look so good like without without falsies and like the weird thing is like this eyeball has like longer eyelashes than this one and like with that like the difference in this is just amazing. I literally use one coat here and two coats here, which is a little weird, but that's how I get them to look even, but they just look so long and so full, and I get, I got the color, um, I think it's like blackest black, and they just like pop, and it's just perfect, and it's not that I'm not going to be using falsies, but for the times that you don't have that much time to apply, I really love that mascara, and it's just so surprising how sometimes like a drugstore brand can just do so much but I love it it's just it's amazing like the difference in my lashes I love it I'm always like eye contact eye contact eye contact <laughs> um the next thing on my current favorites I just want to do a little disclaimer I know I'm late to the party but I've arrived y'all and that is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter. Lord. I've watched the reviews, I've watched the tutorials, and at first I wanted to like buy it right away, but it was like sold out, and I'm so weird about stuff like that. Like, I don't want to have to like search and hunt for it, like, you know. And I just so happened to be in Sephora the other day, and I saw it, and I was like, shit, like, let me just pick this up. Bum. I'm literally wearing it right now and bomb but like all I'm thinking about is like this bright highlighter ugh, this bright highlighter on my future tan skin you know like when I start going to the beach and getting tan I'm gonna be slaying this summer I don't know about you guys but I'm gonna be slaying this summer so I picked it up I have been using it non-stop sorry other highlighters but you're out of here and Fenty is in. I'm so excited. I want to try so much more from the Fenty Beauty line. Um, so I started with this. I'm obsessed. You can see like the highlight is just amazing. And you know, you can just like push it into the skin if you want to take it down a notch. But um, a little goes a long way. Like this is going to last me like, well, I don't know because this summer I might go ham, but I love it. So amazing. 
And the next thing is my new favorite lippy. And it's what I'm wearing right now. And the color that I'm wearing is um, Hawkwind by Kat Von D. And it looks a little something like this. So I was kind of looking for something that was darker than the normal light, but not too dark that I could still wear it in the summer. And I just, I love it. I've worn it a few times and I just love the way that it looks when I'm wearing like a light color outfit and you just have like that dark lip and it just ties like everything together like I am obsessed I specifically wore it so you guys can see why I'm obsessed with it but yeah I'm loving it and the last thing on my list is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer um, in the color NW35 and it's just something like this and as you can see it's been put to use I honestly didn't think I would stop using the Tarte Shape Tape, but after like continuously using it, I noticed that it just wasn't covering up my dark circles, and that kind of defeats the purpose of concealer. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I mentioned this like, I don't even know which favorites it was, but it was a long time ago. That is like my go-to concealer. And just like everything else, I've gone back to it and I love it. I love the way that the creaminess just sticks to my skin. And I think that that's going to be really important for the summertime. I don't want to be, you know, putting on makeup and concealing. And then like three hours later, I'm at like a party or a barbecue. And like you can see my dark circles. That's not cute at all. So I've been... Um, so I've been using the MAC Studio Finish, and of course, holy grail, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, concealing my dark circles, and I love it. So yeah, that is all my current favorites, everything I am loving and obsessing over. There are some newbies, there are some oldies, but they're all goodies, and I love them. So yeah, if you like this video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. My upload date has changed from Sunday to Wednesday. Um, next Wednesday, I'm not going to have an upload. You guys will see why the next week after that. But um, I will leave my hair tutorial playlist linked at the end of the video just to keep you guys busy while I'm gone for a week. But then you guys will see why. And I can't wait to share that with you guys as well. So that's basically it, guys. Until next time. Bye.